Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Today, a very special TA video because I have a very, very, very special guest coming from New Zealand, living in Costa Rica, internationally known business mentor for social entrepreneurs, but now also in the Bitcoin scene. I met this beautiful woman uh, during the Conscious Crypto um, event uh, earlier this year. Um, so now inviting her to my show to tell you something about Bitcoin that is really cool. Uh, Nicola Grace, welcome to the show. Hi, Didi. It's uh, great to be here. Hello, everybody. It's nice to not meet you, but meet you, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I know you have a very special chart that we are going to share with the followers. I'm going to first share my very standard charts um, that I want to share with the followers now. Uh, and then we are going to um, go to your chart as well. So the first chart that I'm going to share with the people now is my uh, four-hour chart. On the four hour chart, we can see that we find support on that red line. It's a 200 moving average on the four hour. This has been support now for multiple times. Um, we can say that we are creating higher lows, but that's not really true because this is the low and this is the higher low, but in between we had a higher low. So it's not a very clear pattern, but the bam bam indicator told me to long over there, to short over there, to long and to short and to long. So even when the pattern is not like completely clear, you can make some profits. Um, we need to break that midline and then we can go to the top of that cloud around 50K again. That is on the four hour chart. If we look at the daily chart we can see the same we are finding support on the one second yeah that's correct the 200 um, daily moving average now again we are at the bottom of this cloud on the bam bam indicator on the daily chart the bam bam indicator just gave a long flag but we still need to close the candle above the yellow stepping line there is bullish divergence. You can see the price going down. We can see the RSI coming up, which normally leads to a bullish, bullish jump in the price, which could be a huge jump to the top of that Bollinger Band around 59K. But again, first, we should be closing a candle above that. We zoom a little bit more out and to the weekly chart. Here you can see we find support on the 50 weekly moving average. That is a very important support, but the BAM told us to short. Um, and mostly when the BAM tells us to short, we will meet the price around that midline. You can see over here, the midline. So uh, the red line, sorry. <laughs> oh my God, Didi, good morning. Wait, I will drink some more coffee. Mm. Ready to go. Um, so when we short, we go to the line. But if we break that level, that 47,300 level, the next level uh, could be around 39K, guys. Again, this trend line, the green line, we broke that one. We needed to break it. And now we are retesting it. So for me, RSI is going up. It's starting to curl up. So in my opinion, we are going to move up from here. But these are my standard charts. And I think now um, I will go to the more important moment of the day because Nicola is going to show us something that I've been talking about many times before um, on the charts as well. And people have started to say, eh, why is it always happening at the end of the month, Didi? Why is it always happening at that date? Why? What is in line? And then I uh, met a lot of people that think that Bitcoin is going to the moon during my whole Bitcoin adventure. And I think Nicola is going to share us something really special now. Thank you, Nicola. Yes. And uh, take it over. <laughs> yeah, totally. I'll share my screen in just a moment. Um, over at the Conscious Crypto Traders YouTube channel, which is my channel I share with my business partner, Teresa de Robois, um, we look at the moon phases and we also look at astrology to see if that can give us an edge as to where the price action may be going. And it is uncannily to the point. So I'm going to uh, share my screen with you. The moon phases is an indicator you can actually get on TradingView if you have a uh, TradingView account. So let me just quickly share my screen. You'll see I've got bullish divergences there. Um, this is uh, the Bitcoin chart on the daily. You need to look at it on the daily. And if you go up to the indicators, you just go uh, indicators and you type in moon phases. And this is the one that I'm using. So what I've noticed about the moon phases, whenever we have a new moon, which is 
the light blue. Whenever we have a new moon, usually the day before, the day of, or the day after, we get a pretty big dump. So let's have a look at this new moon here. New moon, dump. New moon, a smaller dump. New moon, a smaller dump, and we continue going down, right? All of these new moons are showing dumps, right? And it often happens just as we're coming into the time of the new moon, right? So it's almost it's always good to go to Auntie Google and look up the moon phases and the times, turn it into your time zone. So you mark it on your charts to see if there are other indicators showing us that we could be heading, heading down on the new moon. The new moon on the 4th of uh, December was also an eclipse. So usually when there's eclipses, the dump is going to be bigger. And what do we get? Literally an hour before the time of the new moon, we did a pretty heavy dump and we continue going down and nobody saw coming. Now let's flip that and talk about the full moon because the full moon is on Friday in the US. Uh, so it goes into it goes into the full moon at about one o'clock in the morning in Eastern Standard Time. So that's early morning for those of you who are in Europe. Next so, Friday, this Friday. What's that? It's going to be this Friday. Yes. So, like in two days. Yes. Wow. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And we've got, <laughs> I know, but but there are other Didi, there are other indicators saying bullish divergence on the daily, which means any day now we're going to go bullish, right? And it's Wednesday, and there are other indicators showing that we are in an upturn. So now, let, what happens on a full moon? So this was the full moon here, and we did a pretty significant pump up. This was the full moon here, and we didn't actually start pumping till the day after. Here is another one, and we pumped right on the day, and we went up. Here's another one. We started pumping um, a, a couple of days before, and this is what I think is happening now. We're starting to see the, the, the run-up into the pump-up, <laughs> and this one keeps going all the way to the new moon. Um, this one was a small one. This one was a, a, a small one with a retracement and then a big pump. So that they do vary, like it's not, the pattern isn't, we're going to pump all the way up to the new moon. The pattern is, is that usually we see a trend reversal on the new moon and the full moon. And the trend reversal on the full moon is a pump up and the trend reversal on the new moon is to head back down again. Uh, and the last, the last one, which I thought was really important because November was a negative month and we were all expecting moon November. Uh, we came up, but then we kind of fake was a kind of a fake out, right? And we just came back down and then had this really big dump. So what I am expecting for this one is um, I think we're going to see a pretty significant uh, a pretty significant pump, but you just got to be aware that on Thursday it is possible we could see another retracement. So obviously, depending on where we head to today and uh, uh, you know as to where that retracement could be. If we go down onto the four hourly, we've got a bull flag on the four hourly, right? Yeah. Yeah. So there it is there. So, yeah, so that's that. So you want to get that on your charts. And if you're skeptical, uh, it, watch it even more. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's, it's, really, it's really interesting. I've been seeing the same. For me, there is also a pattern that every time the last uh, Friday of the month, we see a dump. Um, so it's, it's, it's like, depending on which month it is, what do you think is the reason that people trade uh, more around these moments or what, what does the, how does the moon influence the chart or the people? Well, I think that like if it, um, on Friday, you've got volume starting to come out of the market and manipulation coming in. Right. So, so that, that I think uh, towards the end of the week, I mean, even I, I used to be in the stock market and even in the stock market Friday, you know, was that was happening on Friday as well. So if you look at like this price action represents human psychology and mindset. So if you look at the energy on Friday, I think, I think it's the institutions have come to the end of the week and they've, they've got to make their quotas, right? And if they haven't made their quotas, then they just come in and manipulate it to where they need it to be. And I think I think that's the major, the major reason, right? You haven't met your quota at the end of the week or you haven't met your quotas at the end of the month or you're wanting to make even bigger quotas. Does that make sense? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah completely makes sense. Completely makes sense. Um, thank you so much for this chart. Yeah, it, I really <laughs> like it because, you know, for me, it's Bitcoin to the moon. It's it's all tied together. And I think life is all about one being, one energy. Um, I've done a lot of ayahuasca experiences in my past. So for me, it's all about energy. And I think that um, yeah. people uh, tend to be more happy on certain days and as more sad on certain days. And when they're happy, they trade more and then the volume gets up. And I think there is a correlation with the moon, the stars over there. But no, not everybody will believe this, but you know, respect everybody for their opinion, in my opinion always. Right. Um, then um, you're still living in Costa Rica at the moment and you're building yeah. something really beautiful uh, there. Yeah. Can you please share what you're building? Totally. Um, I'm part of a council called the Evolutionary Business Council, which is a council of business owners who are in the transformation space, bringing about a consciousness shift in humanity. So we're creating a community here in Costa Rica for conscious community, conscious leaders to gather, to rejuvenate, to help us uh, brainstorm what it is we're going to be doing and what we're offering in the world. And we're building a retreat center as well. So you can come and live here and you can participate in the retreats, hold retreats here, or just use it as a retreat center or uh, come and have a retreat yourself. And at the moment, we've got five apartments, a swimming pool and a really small retreat room. And we're building a bigger retreat space for over 200 people so we can have we can have bigger gatherings of conscious community. We also uh, offer payments in um, cryptocurrency. So you can buy your land here in cryptocurrency, 100%. You can buy your land there in cryptocurrency. Yeah. Everybody here is a crypto trader. <laughs> wow. And, and is there a, a website where they can find more information about this as well? Yes, there is. It is called uh, vistamondo.info. Dot info. Okay, I will put the links down below the video to be yeah. sure that people uh, click the right link. Um, I'll double check that too. You can see <laughs> it on Google Maps. If you put in Vista Mundo community, you'll see it on Google Maps and there's photos there as well. I don't know if that's a good thing that we're actually on Google Maps or not. Um, the jury's out on that one. But you can, you can. We needed to put a pin there so we could Uber. <laughs> yeah, of course we can. We can order Uber Eats or whatever. No. <laughs> Um, Nicola, thank you so much for coming on my channel and sharing your vision and the whole beautiful uh, thing that you're building here in Costa Rica. We as a family, we are definitely looking forward to visit it in real life one time. You're now in Mexico, so we are close. You never know, maybe yeah. next year, January, yeah. February, somewhere, depending on all the uh, rules and lockdowns and yeah. codes and passes and whatever. Exactly. <laughs> But we will come. Um, Wiggle our way through all of that, don't we? Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a difficult, strange situation, but you always need to make the, make the best, I think, and just stay yes. positive and grab life by the balls, I always say. Uh, but that's more <laughs> for the men, people over there. Um, I'm keeping my videos a little bit short because I, I, I know that the attention span of the people is not longer than 10, 15 minutes. So I want to thank you very much for coming okay. to the channel. All the people at home. Please, if you did enjoy this video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and let me know down below in the comments, what do you think about this special chart? Do you think that the Bitcoin price is in correlation with the moon? So the new moon and the full moon. Um, have you heard about this before? Do you want to ask Nicola any questions? Drop those questions down below the video and I will try to answer them myself or have Nicola uh, answer them, of course, if, if she has even time because she's a very busy woman as well. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Thanks, Nicola.